Hello everyone, welcome to Switch Up as we once again have a look at some of the games coming out for the Switch in this upcoming week. In today's video we're going to look at the games releasing on the Switch from the 15th of January up until the 21st to see if there is anything interesting coming at this early stage of the year. Okay, without further ado then, what is coming to the Switch next week? Well, let's find out. A quick look first then at a couple of games that are already out as we always do and the first of these is Heaven Dust 2 which released on the 6th of this month and is an isometric survival horror game inspired by the early Resident Evil games. Now we've actually reviewed this game already so I'll put a link to that review in the top pinned comment but it's actually a fairly decent game let down by a few performance issues and a price that whilst not overly high is just too close to the Resident Evil games on the Switch to make it a full recommendation. Not bad at all though, check out the review for the full details. And the other game we'll highlight then is Demonica Everlasting Light. This describes itself as a gothic metroidvania with the blurb going on to say that it mixes beautifully grotesque imagery with seductive style. You'll challenge powerful lords and slay hordes of their minions as you rise through the tower, collecting upgrades to your abilities and the description also mentions a two player setting but it doesn't really elaborate on how this works at all. It comes out via East Asia Soft and released last week on the 12th. Looking at the games coming out this week now then, and the first one is Shadow Man Remastered. Now I remember this game originally coming out on the N64 and I believe the Dreamcast too. I never played it though as it wasn't one that I saw about in shops much at all, at least where I lived. I do remember though being very intrigued by the reviews and the articles I read about it in gaming magazines of the time. It's an action adventure game based on the Shadow Man comics as you stalk criminals in both the spirit world and the real world. This remastered edition has three new levels, new audio from the original game composer, updated HD textures and the restoration of some cut or censored models from the original game. As I said I never played the original as much as I did want to but it scored fairly well back then as far as I can remember. It will cost you £15.89 or your regional equivalent when it releases on the 17th. What sleep is here? What dreams there are in the unctuous coilings of the snake's mortal shuffling. Weapon in my hand, my hand, the arcing. The next one is Concordia Digital Edition, which is the latest in what is now a long line of physical board games to make their way to video game consoles. This is a faithful adaptation of the strategic board game where you must build the greatest trade empire of ancient Rome, and the blurb says that the board game itself was voted as one of the 20 best of all time. You can play with up to six players locally or online as you attempt to build your trade empire, trading goods to expand to different cities, trying out a variety of different maps and customising your game with expansion modules. I've never played this particular game but I have been very impressed with pretty much every digital board game I've played on the Switch so far and a physical edition bundling a few of them together would be great at some point if any of the powers that be happen to be watching this video. Next game is Labyrinth Legend which is published by NIS America. This has one of the shortest blurbs I think I've ever seen. I'm assuming they were paying by the letter with this one and it basically says that a labyrinth of untold treasure lies underneath a kingdom but it will need someone brave enough to venture in to find its secrets and fight the beasts that await. In fact I think I've just used more words and descriptive language than the blurb itself. It goes on to say that there are three classes to choose from each with unique abilities and that you can also play in co-op mode with a friend. It looks as if it released on Steam last year, with the Steam page giving a bit more info, mentioning it's an RPG with hack and slash elements. If you are interested, it will cost £13.49 and it comes out on the 18th. Then we have Guild of Ascension which is a tactical action RPG with roguelite elements. It mixes turn based combat with real time action combos and the blurb goes on to say that you will be crafting weapons, learning skills and befriending critters as you encounter bizarre creatures and fight giant bosses. You are aiming to ascend the tower and you will be rewarded afterwards with money and materials which you can then use at the guild to carry out the aforementioned crafting. You have 10 seconds at the start of each round to plan your strategy before 
before it looks as if the turn-based side of things kicks in. Actually sounds and looks very interesting having just watched the trailer. It's out on the 19th and it will cost you £15.29 or again your regional equivalent. Coming out on the 20th we have Blackwind which is a top down sci-fi action game where you pilot a prototype battle armour suit during an alien invasion. You can choose your play style as you take down a variety of enemies using melee moves, missile launchers or the special powers that your battle suit possesses. You can evolve your battle frame with new powers and invest in a skill tree and the whole thing can be played in two player local co-op. It actually looks pretty great, I'm always up for a bit of hack and slash action and this will sell for £19.99 or your regional equivalent but it has 15% off of this price up until just before launch. Next you have RP Golf Legend or would it be RPG Golf Legends? No that would sound stupid. Either way it's an action adventure game with a golf theme that appears to play a bit more like a top down Zelda than the RPG that the title would suggest as it makes no mention of levelling up in the blurb talking more about the acquisition of new skills and items. Either way though, it says an evil force has sealed all of the golf holes in the world and you will be exploring an open world where monsters and golf coexist. Get your best scores in six unique environments, but beat monsters and help people when resting. It sounds like a lot of fun to be fair and it has a lovely vibrant pixel art style. Perhaps a bit expensive at £26.99, although I suppose it does depend how involved it all is, but there is 20% off of that price up until launch. Next, although only showing on the North American stores at the time of recording, this is Scrap Nought. This is a top-down base building and survival game with a steampunk setting and it can be played in single player or local multiplayer. It promises an open world with different biomes to explore and you'll need to take care of oxygen, generate electricity, manage your farms and build your home whilst you're at it. It will cost $11.99 and if it has been added to the other regions since I've recorded this audio then regional equivalents will be at the bottom of your screen now. And finally for the week we have a sequel, a long awaited sequel, to a classic game and that is Windjammers 2. The original Windjammers came out in 1994 for the Neo Geo via Data East and was almost a more high octane version of classic video game Pong as you looked to return a flying disc or essentially a frisbee to your opponent. This sequel promises to bring everything that was loved about the original but mix it with new mechanics, with new challenges, new stages and new power moves among the mechanics mentioned. This new edition is developed and published by .emu and will have two player local and online modes. It's going to sell for £17.99 and it releases on the 20th. So there you have it, a week of Nintendo Switch releases. Is there anything in there at all that interests you? I myself am very much interested in Shadow Man. As I said, I missed out on it back in the day. I could just never find it in shops for whatever reason and had to make do instead with fawning over the pictures in gaming magazines. Let us know if you're picking anything up in the comment section below. There is a link in the top pin comment for Turbo Shot, a game which came out last week. It's a free to play game which featured in last week's video. The link to the game itself wasn't available back at that time, so it's there now if you are interested in having a look. Don't forget we've also still got 10% off of our eShop cards on our website, switchup.gg. Again, link in the top pin comment if you want to get yourself some eShop credit and save a bit of money at the same time. A quick thank you to our Patreons as always for your continued support and to each and every one of you for watching our videos. Take care and until next time, happy gaming.